I would very much like to see schools be able to develop programs for kids that need skills that aren't college prep. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. The following is an excerpt from the Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series. The new podcast features conversations with local leaders who are focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. So do you notice, would you have any recommendations or ways to encourage this region to embrace change? Like where do you see the future of our region from a leadership standpoint? Are we heading in the right direction? I think so. You know, I'm hearing a lot of great things um, that are happening. I think, you know, um, at Youngstown's home, right? This, right. this the whole thing is home to me. So yeah, I certainly hope so. I, I see what's happening in Lordstown. We were talking off camera right. about that. I, I couldn't be more thrilled to see jobs coming back there. And they're it's it's innovative what they're doing, right? You know, and and the work that districts, school districts, are doing with business advisory councils, that's innovative. That is. Um, you know, people I see all the time, people saying, you know, make sure that we're pushing uh, career tech and skilled trades, and uh, and we're doing that. Mm -hmm. it, you know, when I graduated, it was you're going to college or you're going into the military, and and there weren't there weren't many other options, or at right. least. Not presented to me. Right. So um, you know, I, I'm seeing now that I feel like we're we're on the right path because we're starting that dialogue. And I mentioned earlier, I think so for real change to be impacted or affected, we've got to work with our legislators. We've got to get them on the same page. Because as much work as we're doing, if the law doesn't change about what's provided in schools, then um, you know, we're gonna we're just going to be spinning our wheels. No, you're right. I mean, I, I sit here and think, uh, you know, I, not to get into politics, but, you know, any entrepreneur, tell me the rules of the game and I'll make it happen. And so a lot of times the whole, you know, legislative process, it's like, eh, just don't screw it up and I'll just, we'll just make it work. But you're right. I mean, in this instance, change is happening, but for it to really be fully impactful it does there is a legislative legislative component here right i mean i would like to see and certainly not a re or a um a, um you know a, a mirror image of what's going on in 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 uh career tech but i w i would very much like to see schools be able to develop programs for kids that need skills that aren't college prep right, right. you know I'm, I'm not suggesting to have a carpentry class or a carpentry pathway in a high school. First of all, it's expensive. Second of all, it's a duplication of services. Career Tech does that already. Mm -hmm. But you know, have pathways for kids in high school who for whatever reason didn't go to Career Tech and make them make them acceptable in the eyes of the state. Don't make them take the same tests. Right. I mean, I I've never used trigonometry. I, I don't know why I had to, I'm, I'm 50. I I'm don't thinking, know why I had to take that. Yeah, that's cosine. And so, and <laughs> yeah, I don't even cosine. know. I, yeah, I, I recall, I vaguely I just recall cried trig. a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I took four years of Spanish. I, I And I get why you have, you know, I get why we introduce kids to those things. Right. But I was going to college. I knew I was going to college. I needed those courses. But the kid that didn't go to college and, and didn't go to the military probably didn't need trig and probably could have benefited much more from subjects that were right. more attractive to him right. or her. Right, And so it, I'm hearing there's a very explicit effort, and I, I literally see it, but just to sh for your, from your perspective, there is an explicit effort to establish career pathways and to have oh, yeah. a broader array of choices available. Yeah, we're, it, we are making a pointed effort to educate kids about what's out there that's, and, and we're not minimizing college, so I don't wanna go on the, opposite direction. I, I'm clearly, I think college is very important, right. um, but that's for me. Right. So, you know, what we're trying to do is make sure everybody's got options that are individualized to them and that they're educated about them. The interview you just watched is an excerpt from the Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series. The new podcast features conversations with local leaders who are focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. 
For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.